Okay, well, I did a search for Northern Neck Regional <clears throat> Jail. And uh, actually, where was it? Here, at the inmateaid.com. Inmate so I was just looking for something other than Vine Link. So it says I can use the facility inmate locator, so I clicked on that link. And then it says use the prison's official locator. So that's what I clicked on. It brings up this page. And it tells me to select current inmates above to begin my search. So it brings me up a list of their inmates alphabetically. I come over here and click on T's, uh, and I'm going to look for Tucci. So I'm going to go forward a page or two, and then I find, find her right here. Tucci Giraffe, Heather Ann. Booking number 43527, or sorry, inmate ID number 43527. Her booking number there. Uh, 1702342. The booking time 9:48 p.m. on the 10th. So when I click on her name, pulls this page up, gives me her same uh, ID number, uh, her name in all caps, spelled correctly this time, and. It says that she's in housing location Pius and Paul. Uh, and she's got visitations on Monday from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Uh, her charges are 999 federal charge. There's no case number listed. There's no bond amount. There's no arrest date. Um, but they put in an offense date of the same day that they booked her in. So. Uh, I don't know what they're doing, but they are not putting in very much attention to detail uh, as they're putting her into the system. I wonder how much of that is this is the system's response when when you don't identify yourself as one of the debtors in the system. Um, over here on Vinelink. Um, it was interesting. I did a previous video. Um, but it lists her race as African American, and um, that just—I mean, the the previous entry in VineLink had her listed as white, and, and I just—I don't know how—I don't know how you get that wrong, especially with somebody as high profile as uh, Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe is. Uh, let's see, what was her? Alright, 43527. So we're going to copy that. See, it lists her race as African American. I'm going to pull up her photo there. Um, uh, so, all I'm doing with these videos is just documenting these observations while I can. There's so many things that appear to have checked out. Um, you know, I watch Angie's videos. Angie says she's going to Northern Neck Regional Jail. And before she even shows up in VineLink under Northern Neck Regional Jail, uh, she's putting those videos out. And, and then, you know, uh, a day or two later, uh, Heather Antucci shows up under VineLink again. And she's showing up under these other websites. So... Uh, 
wow, if this is a hoax, they are really doing a lot of prep work and and wow, I just I, the reason I'm wondering or even talking about the idea of this being a hoax, someone in a chat on the Mike O'Brien uh, conference call from uh, August 12th uh, noticed that her last name, Tucci Giraffe here, let me blow this up, um, you know, you take the, take this T-U-C-C-I and it's like, well the U-C-C-I is like a U-C-C-1 and that's the, that's the form that, that is so prevalent in her narrative, uh, with all her talk on the, about the UCC and the straw man accounts and and claiming uh, what claiming your secure party status and I've just seen so so many of these different uh, narratives that pop up in YouTube that that there's just some weird stuff with the gematria or weird stuff with the names and and I mean what are the chances that the woman who's you know putting herself in in the meat grinder so to speak for all of us uh, has such a similarity with the name of the former document that that she uses to do that uh that's just that's a little mind-blowing in itself uh, especially after looking at gematra nader 64's work and zachary hubbard's work and even the stuff that crow has uh has put together as far as gematria goes uh you know to see to see something similar to ucc1 and heather ann's name it, it just it kind of puts me off. I don't quite know how to define it right now, but uh, so many other things are are checking out, and and ultimately, uh, as people put requests in for uh, the courtroom transcripts, which I know are, is already published on the uh, IUV website, um, you know. These are things that uh, that we need to get a hold of ourselves and and verify. Um, I I did notice that. Oh, where is this? The uh, here we go. The original One People's Public Trust UCC filings. Um, you can download all of them here. I downloaded them, and a lot of a lot. There's there's a bunch of PDFs in there, which are multiple page documents. But there's a lot of just uh, I think they're TIFF formats or uh, just just an image format, and it's a single page only. And when you look at those pages, uh, it, it seems like they're really multiple page documents. So I'm not sure if if this UCC filings link here is is really all that complete, uh, let me pull up uh, let me pull up a folder off screen here and give you some more information about that. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's the here's the folder. So when you when you download this uh, this link right here to download all the UCC filings, uh, the, this is what you're gonna get. And there's a lot of tiffs and. You know, this says page one of seven, but uh, but there's only one page here, 
and, and this is for you know the UCC uh, document uh, number 2012-113593. So where are the other six pages? Uh, how come those weren't included? Um, especially when we've got multiple page uh, PDFs uh, like this one, which we can, you know, look through all these pages and, and see the complete thing. We, we need to be able to see absolutely everything. Uh, if, if these are the documents that we're supposed to cite when we file our paperwork, then, then we, we, it's just we need all these pages. If it's a seven page document, put all the pages there, please. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to go to the UCC ourselves and, and request all of these documents, which is something that we probably should do ourselves anyway, uh, just so that we have another abs avenue of observations and make sure everything checks out here. This is serious business. So anyways, those are my thoughts for now. Um, just making observations and documenting them because that's what the game is all about.